Hey guys, welcome back to another Farsight episode. Today we are going to implement, actually, oh, I think this might be stopped, that's why that's not going. Um, today we are going to try to, yep, turn you back on, okay, thank you, bye bye, have fun. Uh, we're turning that back on to start collecting because we're going to be down here working most of the time. So if we go down, I've started clearing out a little area for what I showed you guys yesterday on my first episode of Kit, which I hope you guys liked. Um, the only thing here is we're going to be modifying this to be extended to what will be included in hopefully the uh, next couple episodes of Kit after after I get everything worked out, which will be using putting these back here, refilling this, and then having it... Um, these will be hit away, just be a wall, this will be a wall. And then once I start, once I put stuff in a certain chest to smelt it, it's gonna go to those items, or it's gonna go to these chests, and as soon as items start smelting in the chest, the doors open up so that you can see it. So, uh, yeah, they did, they did change the slime block texture. Texture. Tort is gonna be coming over. I think I see his name, yep. He is trading me a stack of are some iron for some glowstone. Hey, Tord, how you doing? Look at, look at the little tortoise. Yep, look at that guy. Take your stack. There you go. Whoa, 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 there you go, there you go. <laughs> I was gonna say! <laughs> 16 iron. Thank you, good business. Good business. So, Tord, uh, yeah, he's, he's fitting in pretty good. He's doing a good job. He's got, you know, he's got a nice, uh, nice little outfit on, as you guys can tell. A little bit better than me, I guess, but, hmm. Yeah, get off my lawn! He said that in one of his tweets. <laughs> he's like, oh, eight subs away from 200. Thank you guys. No, get off my lawn! <laughs> so, that's what that's, that's what that's all about. So, I'm going to, uh, we're gonna take this a step further. And, like I said, it's gonna, Put it's gonna cook items, and when it's done cooking the items, oh, you know what we got. Uh, you know what? There we go. And when when it's done, uh, oh, Sandy, ouch, ouch. Um, and when we're done, yeah, I'll show. So we're gonna put the furnaces right here, the furni, right. So as you saw in yesterday's ep first episode of Kit, we have a furnace refueling system for all those. Uh, <laughs> For all these sticks that I have, right? And so, then I'm gonna also have an area where I can just put items into a chest. And then it will dispense those into the tops part of, top part of these furnaces. And, uh, yes. And then they'll automatically take out and get put somewhere else. So, we'll, uh, get to work on that a little bit. Man, I'm running short on iron. And look at this. This is, <laughs> this is the recipe for a cauldron. I have plenty of sticks, but I have oh, no iron. And look at, I get whatever. All right, so here's the, those of you guys didn't watch my episode of Kit. Oh, this, you know what? This seems to go down one more still. For those of you that didn't watch my episode of Kit, this is pretty much what I have on Kit yesterday. And yesterday's episode of Kit was this setup right here where... A minecart will sit here that will get items in it that will have the uh, sticks, let's say, in it. And whenever one of these runs out, let me show you guys. Oh man, I don't have a hopper. I don't have another hopper for a minecart hopper chest. Anyways, if we look, I have items in here all right now, so it's all ready. But as soon as this furnace uses up one of the sticks, it's gonna go, boom, send out a minecart. Put some sticks in, send it back, and wait until one of them runs out again. So that's what it's going to do, essentially. And if you want to see the redstone behind it, you can check out the kit episode that came out yesterday. But um, like I had mentioned, I want to do a little bit more with this, which will eventually be in an episode of kit. But I want to make it so that whenever these are furnacing, <laughs> whenever these have items that are in them, then, uh, then it will pull down, it will show you the furnace. So, as long as nothing's going, no one's gonna really even know this is here. 
um, unless if something's smelting, then I will pull down these pi pull down these pistons so that it will reveal these furnace, and then you can sit there and watch them. Now I'm thinking I want to do something too where I don't think I I don't think it's possible to do it with the amount of room we have or with the way this redstone set up. I wouldn't mind though putting a uh, row of lights on it so you know like above it somewhere so you know which furnace is cooking i mean you can obviously tell when it's cooking by you know seeing something in it but that's no fun we want the real deal you know what i'm saying um so then now look at it, it minecart would have sent off so there we go no signal going we're good to go uh but we'll have to think of something to do with that also so if we are now going to I have to figure out though where do I want to put where is it that I want to put the um where is it that I want to put the chest that stuff goes into do I want to put it like right here and then uh takes it down just brings it up here real quick or like how do I want to do it cuz there's going to have to be a mine cart that goes across the top it's going to have to be a row of hoppers on the top of this too and there will literally be this across the front of it to where when when there when there's something cooking you know this is like <laughs> this is literally all you'll see so when something's cooking you'll see this and then you can grab it and then when it's done cooking those will come back up sort of that's 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 the that's the idea at least maybe and then i'll probably have to have a manual override to put those down to put these down just so that if I did cook something and they come back up, like I walk away and they come back up, then I have a way back to get back to them. So uh, we're going to work on that a little bit. Well, hopefully this works as of right now. So the way it's going to work is we are going to cover this up the best we can. And what's going to end up happening is we're going to, let's say we want to cook up like these three stacks of things, right? We throw... All those in, blah, blah. Let's say, okay, now it's getting down there. It's getting cooked. Boom. Now now we're going to see it all getting cooked, <laughs> right? And then uh, we have to figure out the way to get these to close back up. I'm thinking I'll just have it do a, I'll put a manual override switch right here or uh, like right here. I could put a, just a little button right here. To where when it's done then I just go boom. Everything comes back up and it's hid. Then I put items back in again. All right. Let's see I put five three items in to be smelted. Then I can see it. We don't want that in there. We see it. We're done. Close it back up, right? Um or that's also the man that'll be also the manual override in case if for whatever reason, if there's something back there, it closes. But here, here's how it works then. Uh, you guys might be asking me how these aren't connecting up, even though I'm going the opposite way that they are supposed to be. I realize that if you place these on a non-solid block, they will, um, if you connect the high ones first and then connect the low ones afterwards, they won't connect across to where, watch, if I take this off, Um, take that off and I put it, it it won't connect now if I do this one of the ways will connect I can't remember which one it is but one of the ways do connect see like that now it connects so I have to then it's the other way around I have to put the low one on first so that it doesn't connect and then I put the high one on a uh, non-solid block and it connects so that's how I'm going to uh, make sure that these lot these rails don't connect up um, so now if we go back here let me uh, get up there Uh, does that have anything on it? Nope. Okay. So let's get up there. I think that dropped in here too. Which now would mean that it is cooking in there. Which is it cooking? No, it's not. Okay. So then if we go in here then, once we put an item in here, it's going to send that signal. That's what sends down to the T flip flop down here to then activate this line. Once the items get out of there to activate these pistons, go up and down, right? And then what's also going to happen is as they go through here, once items get down into here, as you can see, this line is going to turn on. But what I'm going to have happen is uh, I still have yet to do this part. 
But I have to have it to where, um, I have to do something that when this, what, what ends up happening is when items come in here, once this detects an item is in here, right? If we watch it, an item's in here, it's gonna send this off and it's gonna give it that much time, what, nine ticks? Twelve ticks? For it to unload items in here, and then it's gonna send it off. But now I have to, I have to figure out some way that I want to, um, have it so it turns this line off after this rail cart leaves. So maybe I could put a nether, nether comparator. Maybe if I put another comparator going out that way, I can make this, make one of, make this thing right here some sort of piston pushing mechanism or something. Maybe there's some way I can do that. I, I gotta be able to do that where I put a comparator over here to where when there's nothing on this cart, I could even do a detector. No, I don't know. We'll figure that out. But uh, that's gonna be it for this today. I don't want to put. I don't want to put too much into this right now, and for two reasons. One, I just don't want to. I. It's good to step away from th from things sometimes. You know, think about it and then come back to it. Um. But the other reason is I also don't have any more iron. I'm kind of out of iron, so I can't make any more hoppers. Uh. But as of right now, I I really like this this design and what I got going on here. So that we'll have sticks constantly being fueled, f fueling this, and then I can just throw items in here to smelt, and it will do it accordingly, and then I can just grab the items. So I think it's, you know, I really like the design and the idea. And uh, so this would close off that wall, then we'd have a line coming across here, right? Then we'd have another line. Nope, that's not going to be blocked off, but there will be a line coming right here this will be filled in there will be this here so we'll be able to see that there will be one coming down here to where once this is all closed up it's just going to be another ordinary wall right <laughs> so that's the that's the goal at least that's that's what I'm planning to do so I'm going to go and try to fix that chicken farm up there so we can get that finished and go in this episode Man, look at this party, and they just... Oh, really? I don't have any arrows. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, this might not be a good idea to do without arrows. Oh, man, I think there's arrows in this chest over here. I just need one. But I think there's arrows in one of these chests over here. Get away! I don't want to mess with you right now. Please. Thank you. No arrow? No arrows. There we go. I told you. I told you. Oh, these are loud. These guys are loud. Oh, get away. Get away. Don't hurt my horse. Don't hurt my horse. Don't hurt my horse. See, but I need to turn this thing off. That's why. <sighs> turn this thing off. I, you know what? I need to turn down friendly creature sounds because those are going to be loud working on the chicken farm. See, but I just don't understand. Like, why are they getting... I don't know if they got stuck up here pr prior to me coming up here or what it was exactly, but look at them all. They're just like everywhere. And why are skeleton? Why are there so many skeleton spawns right here? Like I don't understand that either. There shouldn't be that many skeleton spawns. Part of me thinks maybe it's broken again. There, uh, uh, whatever. All right, guys. So this thing should be figured out now, to where I. Th I tested it with two waters because I already messed up once and tested it with lava and lost my lava. But the water's in there. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Water's in there. So that means... Ah, uh, you know what? I need to switch these around. I hope. You know what? We're going to test with the water one more time. Let's, uh... So if we block this up... There we go. Day. Okay, so if we put whatever's, leave whatever's empty empty, and put whatever's here in there, that should work. So if we cover it, lava, uncover it, water. Haha! <laughs> Yay! So now we got to, uh, <laughs> you guys are like, really? Um, I realized the other day this wasn't a clock either. Um, because it was just sensing an item. There's items in here. 
but it's not continually uh, kicking them out to where we need to feed this back into there was one of the things which that won't do it we need that that then we need to I think I think you have to empty out the items and then put new ones in oh it's in the dropper take those out now we sh should yeah okay it's it can't get full so it will never get full after this point again so if we just take out eggs and put them back in we should have a clock going now so we don't want to cover we can't what's happening why are they drowning? They're supposed to be floating. They're supposed to be going down. No. No, does this concept not work? I thought this this concept used to work. They used to be able to throw them. Maybe I'm throw maybe I'm throwing them one too high. Huh? I'll, I guess I'll have to go test this out for next episode. I thought I was, I thought we had this thing done. You know what? Stop this! I don't want to waste all those eggs. Dang it! So we're gonna have to come back to this, you guys. I thought this was the working concept. I might be wrong. I might have to move this all some way or one another. So whatever it comes out to be, we will have this thing for sure either working or scrapped by next episode. So. uh like always, guys, I uh, thank you guys for watching. My name's Cluster. Dream big.